Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I'm going to share with you a quick mini album project. Um, it's actually going to be a tutorial. We're going to create this mini album together. The mini album is going to be a pocket style mini album and we're going to be using the new Simple Stories Smarty Pants uh, collection. And what you're going to need for this particular collection is going to be really easy because Teresa the Scrapbooking Queen has created um, a kit that has everything you need to make this mini album. So if you go ahead and go to Teresa's uh, Scrapping Queen's uh, Facebook page, she can go ahead and send you out one of the kits. Um, she's got those for you available. So what you're gonna need is obviously your paper collection. You're gonna need your paper trimmer. You're gonna need some score tape. You're gonna need a wet glue, a crocodile, and scissors, a scoreboard, and I'm going to use some Tim Holtz Black Soot Distress Ink to ink my edges. You will also need at least three pieces of 12 by 12 black cardstock and a uh, piece of black chipboard. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go ahead and use um, the crocodile and use rings. Um, if you don't want to use that kind of binding, you can go ahead and if you have a cinch or a bind at all, use that as well. But again, Teresa the Scrapbooking Queen already has a kit available, and so I'm going to use everything that is in the kit. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of 12 by 12 chipboard that comes in the kit, and you're going to go ahead and trim it down. You're going to trim off a piece that is going to be 3 and 3 quarter inches wide by 12. And from that piece, you are going to cut two pieces that are four and three quarters. So your pieces, you're going to need two. It's going to be three and three quarter inches wide by four and three quarter inches high. So you're going to need two of those, and that's going to be your front and back covers. Okay, so then we're going to set those aside. And then you're going to take your three sheets of your 12 by 12 black cardstock, and you are going to take it and you are going to trim, get your paper trimmer out here. The easiest way that I found to do this so we get the most out of our paper is you are going to take your 12 by 12 sheet of paper and you're going to put it in your paper trimmer. And we want, we're gonna do five pages in this mini album. So you're gonna put it in your paper trimmer at the seven inch mark and go ahead and trim it off okay so then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to cut that piece directly in half so you're going to make it six inches by seven inches so do that to all three pieces of your 12 by 12 and you should actually have five that'll give you enough for five pages okay so then what you're going to do is once you get those all cut, go ahead and get your scoreboard out and we're going to score and create our pages. So we're going to take our piece that measures seven inches this way by six inches and along the seven inch side you're going to go ahead and score that directly in half at three and a half inches. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take it, you're going to rotate it a quarter turn, flip it over, and then you're going to score at four and one half inches. Okay, so you're going to do that to all five of your pages. So once we got that done, we're done with our scoreboard. Then you're going to go ahead and take your pages and you're going to go ahead and fold the bottom flap up like this. Give it a good crease and then you're going to go ahead and fold it in half and give it a good crease. And basically, that's going to be your little page. So you're going to have a pocket here. 
You're going to flip your page over and you'll have a pocket here. And then we're going to go ahead and seal up the bottom and the side and that will give us a top pocket here along the, whoopsie, along the top. This will be open here. So we're going to have five pages that are going to look like this. So what I decided to do, and this again is an option, you don't have to do this, is you can go ahead and take an edge punch and do a decorative punch here. Just make sure that it's not one that's really deep. Um, I might use this one, I haven't decided. But if you are going to do that, you're going to want to do that now and punch your pages. So what you'll do is you will take your edge punch and again, go ahead and fold on your score lines. Like this. And then open it back up. And then go ahead and use your punch. And punch your edge. So then it's going to look like this. So I picked that one because I thought it was kind of cute since we're doing back to school, kind of a notebook theme. So that's going to be your pocket. So we're going to go ahead and do that to all of your pages. And then what you're going to want to do is we're going to cut our papers for our pages. So since we're going to use the 12 by 12, you're going to be able to get quite a few um, pages out of here so you can make more than one mini album which would be great since it's back to school if you need to do two or three you know you could do one for a different grade of school you could do if you have two different grandchildren you can do one for one and one for the other so using the 12 by 12 is um, really cost effective so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our design paper and in this collection kit there is a sheet that has a sh some three by four cards and I went ahead and cut those apart and those work out perfect because they will go right in here and they can be our photo mats for inside of our inside our pockets which would be super cute so to create the pages what you're going to need the measurements for here and what I like to do is I like to leave at least a little eighth of an inch border all the way around so our pages are going to be three and a half by four and a half so what we're going to do is to decorate this inside piece here we're going to cut our paper to three and a quarter and you can do four and a quarter, but it's not necessary because your um, your pocket's going to cover it. So I cut mine to three and a half by four so I could get at least three sheets out of the one strip. So then what you're going to do is cut your papers down to size, which is three and a quarter by four. And if you're going to ink your edges, you're going to want to do that now. And again, I'm using the black soot, only because I don't want the white edges to show on my paper. You can ink, this is just an option, you don't have to use this if you don't want to. So then what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and cover our papers. So you're gonna place it in there like this, and use whatever adhesive you want. I'm gonna use my ATG gun. And we're going to put that in there. And then take our next one. Right here. And you can go ahead and get all your papers cut. And then go ahead and lay them out and put them in order of how you want them to go in your book. And I'm going to put this one on this side. going to fold up like that okay so then what you're going to want to do is before we um, we're going to go ahead and glue the sides and when you're doing this I like to use a wet glue that way your tag doesn't get stuck so just run a small bead of glue Oopsie. along here And along here, fold it over. 
over and just press it down. And if you're using your bind at all, you really don't need to do this step because your binding wires will close that for you. But since I'm gonna punch holes and use the little rings, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the sides. Okay, so then go ahead and you're gonna cut your strips to go here, or you can leave even plain if you want, but I'm gonna make some little strips. And I'm gonna cut mine to about one inch, one and an eighth by three and a quarter. So get your paper trimmer out. gonna go right down here like this and it looks like one and an eighth is too big so I'm gonna make it one inch so one inch by three and a quarter and again whoops that's kind of crooked I'm just gonna fix that my scissors the edges. I'm going to go ahead and put that right down here like this. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do one for this. And then what we're going to do to create our pocket is we're going to take our wet glue again and you're gonna run a bead of glue and press it down. Now you can use some um, little binding clips or Clothes pins to hold that down till the wet glue dries. But I like the Scotch quick dry because it does dry really quick. Okay, so then there's our page. We have a pocket here, a pocket here, and then we will have a pocket at the top as well. So that's going to be our page, so go ahead and take your five pages and get your papers ad adhered to your pages and then we'll come back and we'll decorate the cover and put our book together. There you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.